this example, we're collecting EEG activity from the Muse, which is connected to the player's head, and that activity changes or modulates the game. Some studies have demonstrated drowsy driving to be even more dangerous than driving under the influence. Also, the fact that they can hold their position when closed helps a lot on the power efficiency of the prosthetic. Finally, the Wi-Fi module reads the state of the LED from the Firebase real-time database and tells the microcontroller to turn the LED on or off. And, ta-da, the light turned on. We are McGill Neurotech and this is Milo, our brain-controlled wheelchair. You can move it. To turn left, you imagine moving your left hand and to turn right, you imagine moving your right hand. It has to be accurate, maneuverable, and easy to use. Brain in ADHD is a different brain. It is usually under aroused. It's some imagination. One can foresee a future where there is an increased interaction between minds and machines. Electroencephalography is a neurotechnology that provides information about the electron. And that makes it really, really hard and really daunting to make your own neurotech app. So we decided to change that with Neurostack. Keyboard is already so established um, and standardized, but because we're interacting with the keyboard with our mind and not our hands, uh, we decided we need to take a whole different approach. So, now Several new components and features were added to perfect our pipeline's analog signal processing capabilities.